Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Uh, today I have an unboxing video for you. We're going to be unboxing some carnivorous plants from California carnivores. New to my channel, welcome. This is an unboxing video that I do uh, where I unbox some carnivorous plants that I receive from California carnivores. If you're a subscriber here, you know the drill. We're going to go ahead and get started and not waste any time here. Let's go ahead and get this box opened up. All right, let's go ahead and bust out the first plant here. As always, California Carnivores does an amazing job of packaging. This package is really nice and tight. We have several plants in here, so let's go ahead and pull out the first one here just randomly and see what we got. All right, ooh, let's get started with a Saracenia here. Looks like we got a Saracenia with a passenger on the inside, actually. Looks like a sundew in there. Let's go ahead and uh, get this one opened up. Take a look at that. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful pitcher plant. Nice little Saracenia. This one is a, a Citacena. Stone Co. I think that's Stone County, Mississippi. Beautiful. Look at the. I love the. It almost has like a like a cobra lily type pitcher shape. I actually don't have any Saracenia that have that kind of closed hood where it wraps over there. It looks like man, how beautiful. Look at that. Let's finish getting this open up. Now I'm gonna give you guys a really good look at these at the end of the video. So make sure and stick around to the end so you can see a good close up of all these. I'll make sure and uh, get a really good shot of all the plants at the end here. Okay, and real quick before we move on to the next plants, I just want to take a moment here and show you how you can get your hands on one of these beautiful carnivorous plants from California Carnivores. I'm super pumped about teaming up with California Carnivores. They're one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year-round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery you fall in love with. On top of that, they've also been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter CP Hub at checkout. That's CP Hub. Head on over and pick out yourself a new carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, next plant here. I'm guessing this is another Saracenia because it's super tall. Hey, sorry about that. I had a little issue with my camera there. I don't know what happened. I said I had some slow writing speed or something, but uh, here we go. This is a beautiful Saracenia. Look how tall it is already. This is a Deep Throat by Adrian Slack. There she is. Ooh, look at the colors on that. It's got a really, really nice dark red color. Just beautiful. Got another picture coming up right here. Wow, we'll take a good look at this one here again once I get the rest of these unpackaged. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. Ooh, we got a fly trap. Oh, look at those. Oh man, I just love fly traps. Never gets old. This one is a low green. I'm assuming low, you can see the, the traps, at least from what I can see here, are low growing traps, so that's probably where it gets the low, and they are totally green, which is kind of unique. Not too many cultivars are just completely green. Most of them will get kind of red with light, but there are a few cultivars that just don't get much color to them. Let's open this one up. There we go. Check those out. Man, those are really, really beautiful traps. It's actually super, it's super unusual for a trap to not have much color for them just to be purely green. So it's actually a really interesting addition to the collection because when all of them are reddening up, you'll have a couple that stay green. It's kind of yellowish green color and it really give it some different looks. That's so really, really pretty beautiful. We'll take another good look at these too when I'm done opening here. So we've got a Saracenia here. Look at those pictures. Beautiful, beautiful red. Got a red ruffles, Oreophila ornata purpurea. So it's a purpurea, which are typically a little bit smaller. They, they're a little more stout and wide, but what a beautiful, beautiful plant. Looks a little bit like the, the maroon that I have. Let's open this one up. Actually, real quick, let's go ahead and talk about how I open these. If you order from California Carnivores, it's good to know how to open these. So what I do is I take the tag off first, 
I've had people actually complain about how hard it is to open these up and I think it's just the lack of experience. So to tag off first, really easy. And then all I do for Saracenia, what I want to do is I want to get in here next to the plant and I just want to cut all the way around the outside. Like this. And you want to go around all the way to the outside because you don't want to try to pull this cup off like this because you'll, you'll bend the plant. So you want to make sure that you go all the way around the cup so it completely detaches. We're almost there. And I think it should just completely detach for me here. There we go. See? Just like that. Oh, we got a little, definitely got a little spider friend in this one because there's some webs. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's some webs connected there. It might be down in the picture, actually. So we'll keep a lookout for that guy, but yeah, look at these. Wow. Those are really beautiful. Look at that deep red color. And then the way you get the rest of this off is really simple. You just make a, a slice up the middle here. Try not to cut the plant, and then you can just pull all this stuff right off. Easy, easy. Very, very simple, especially if you're not trying to do it on camera like I am. <laughs> trying to keep it in, a, in an area where it stays focused, but wow. Beautiful, beautiful. This was uh, Red Ruffles. Cool. We'll take a better look at this one here in just a little bit. So oh, I did it upside down. That's not good. Look at that. Oh, look at the, the fly in there. It's still alive. That uh, I, That's a testament to California carnivore shipping, is that they they ship this in enough quick so quickly that the fly is still alive inside of there. It must have somehow got out of the pitcher. I'm guessing that when I just had it upside down there, I probably bounced the fly out of the pitcher. That's really cool. There's, Another one there, I don't think that one's alive, but we got a little, little beetle up here too. All these bugs are alive though, look at that. Really interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one open up. This is a Leah Wilkerson Adrian Slack. There we go. Okay, so this one's out. Now I'm going to show you this fly here because the fly is still alive. It's buzzing around really good, so we're actually gonna, we're gonna do a live feeding on an unboxing video. Here we go. Here we go, he's in there now. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever done a feeding on an unboxing video, so this is a first. So let's go ahead and finish taking this off real quick and then we'll take a look at this guy. This is such a beautiful Saracenia with all, all of its ruffles and let's get the rest of that plastic off and here we go. Take a look. The beautiful color on there nice big open mouths and then it's got the really beautiful kind of ruffly hood there you can see we'll show I'll show it to you better once uh we get it down but yeah getting carnivorous plants in August and kind of later in the year is a lot more fun because they're just so much bigger oh what do we got here Ooh, it's a fly trap Ooh, that is those are really really pretty little traps let's go ahead and oh we got a dire wolf any game of thrones fans out there definitely a game of thrones fan Love dire wolves. Let's go and open this one up and take a look. There we go. Take a look at these little dire wolves here. Look at those beautiful little traps. Oh, look! Look at it. you can see this one's kind of gruesome looking, kind of like teeth. I'm expecting that's why they're called dire wolf. They're kind of crazy looking. Very, very cool. Like those. All right, let's go ahead and pop the tag in. Ooh, we got a little sundew here. Looks like maybe some type of a spoon leafed, spoon shaped sundew. Look how pretty that is. Let's get it open. You can't really see it very good. Okay, there it's open, but kind of open anyway. Looks like we have. Now let's get. Let me get the rest of this off real quick. Now we can see it a little better. Let's see. Look at all those little beautiful spoon leafed. Intermedia capillaris. Beautiful little Drosera. This one is, um, it's got a little bit of, it's kind of raising up a little bit, so we might, might need to repot this one. Probably not for a little bit. We'll let it grow and get healthy and do some stuff. And oh, look, we got a little, looks like we have a few different types of sundews in here. We got these long grown ones here, which might be like a fork leaf, and then we got another little, looks like spoon leaf here, but it looks like an, maybe an alba, like a more green 
variety. So it looks like we've got all kinds of stuff going on in this pot, which is really, really cool. I think there's even a little little spider. I don't know if you can see that web right there, but a little, little spider buddy in here somewhere. Oh, it looks like we do have a fork leaf. Drosera here, let's take a look. Dichotoma Giant. Yeah, I think this is a fork leaf sundew. I think these are temperate. So this isn't a tropical sundew. This one is a sundew that needs dormancy. Let's open it up. The reveal, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. The only thing that stinks about getting sundews in the in the mail is that it's really hard to ship a sundew where it keeps all of its dew. So they always are a little kind of messy when you open them up. But look at this, it's beautiful. I love these because of the way that they kind of grow up in these little curls. These are really cool. We'll take a look at this one here better in just a second though. This one's in a rough shape. It has some some kind of brown pitchers here. Or not pitchers, some brown leaves coming up. Um, this one and this one look pretty healthy, but that does have some new growth. So looks like shipping wasn't super kind to this one, but I have no doubt. I've had these before and I know what they do. They they recover really quick and I even got a little, you can see a little spider in this one. Is that picking up for you? Little spider there? <laughs> Cute little guy. Okay. And we got a fly trap. Let's see what we got. Peach pit. I've actually never seen the peach pit before. Let's open it up and take a look. Alright. That was not my most graceful opening. Here we go. Let's take a look at this little peach pit. Oh, so we'll pull all this off here at once, which is always nice. Alright. Peach pit. Look at that. I think. Now, if I had to guess, these are definitely kind of a, almost like a, a, a lighter reddish color, which is kind of a pinkish, peachish color. So I'm guessing that these are probably peach pit because of their kind of pinkish tint. They're a really beautiful color, like a, almost like a light orange slash pink. Really, really beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'll be looking forward to having some of these open back up. I know sometimes they shut during shipping. It looks like that one has an insect in it, you can see. Uh, but sometimes during shipping they get closed up so this will be I'll be excited to see what this one looks like when it gets opened up okay finished unboxing so I just kind of wanted to take you through these real quick here we have the the dichotoma giant really really beautiful man and I'm really excited about this one here this really really beautiful Saracenia that has these very cobra lily like pictures I didn't even know that one like this existed this is the first time I've seen this one so I'm really excited about it. It has some nice little passengers here. Then we got the uh, Deep Throat, Saracenia, nice and tall. Beautiful colors. It's kind of one of the skinnier pictures. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, and real quick before we talk about this uh, Venus flytrap, this low green Venus flytrap here, I just want to thank you so much for being here. Let you know how much I appreciate you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, trying real hard to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday and uh, you being here is really supporting that dream so liking the video subscribing watching this video all the way to the end there's a thanks button below the video if you want to think uh, if you want to support me with monetary contribution if no money no problem liking subbing watching the entire video all that stuff helps me out a ton so thank you so much but let's take a look at this uh low green venus flytrap here it's just beautiful i actually really like that it doesn't turn really red because i have so many flight traps that do turn red and this one I think will stay more of a green color, so I'm excited about that. Then we got our red ruffles, purpurea here, which is really, really cool. Really like those beautiful hoods. It's, it looks a lot like the maroon that I have. Really, really similar. Really, really pretty though. I like that one. Alright, we got our Leah Wilkerson Adrian Slack here. We got these really, really tall pictures here. And then they, they start green and they kind of turn into this red and white webbing. And then they have these really beautiful sort of frilly hoods, which is really, really cool. You were witness to my first live feeding on an unboxing where I dropped a fly in this big picture here. So that was kind of cool. All right, we got our Dire Wolf Venus flytrap here. You can see that these have some really, some gnarly looking teeth on them. This one's really, really cool. Look at that, look at that, those teeth. I'm assuming this is a Dire Wolf because of the, the tooth look. Looks like a, maybe a wolf's teeth. Really, really cool Venus flytrap though. I'm excited to grow these and see how big they get, these dire wolves. Then we got a little sundew over here. I 
one of these little, it has kind of this more spoon leafed. And then we got this little tag along here, this little green guy, more of an Alba. And then we got some of these tall tag alongs here. I'm not sure what those are. They look like fork leaf, but I don't know. I've never seen them just be tall with one stem like that. So I'm not sure what those are, but. And then in, last but not least here, we have our peach pit. Venus flytrap, which I'm pretty sure that the reason this is a peach pit is because of this really kind of unusual, almost pinkish peach color. Light, light orange, pinkish. Really beautiful flytrap. So yeah, that's the entire haul. You can see them all there. Some beautiful, beautiful carnivorous plants. I'm really excited. Make sure to like, subscribe. I'll bring updates on all these plants. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them I'll update you on, kind of let you know how they're doing, how they're growing. Uh, if you have one of these plants and you have questions on how to grow it and how to take care of it, throw uh, your comment in the description or uh, throw your comments down below and I'll make sure and take a look. But yeah, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.